Hmm. We're standing on bedrock. So the oil is traveling downhill. Can you turn it on, please? You gotta give me 10 seconds. It's loading up. Just the sulfur, or you get oil in there? I got that blue gray. I'm talking when you smell. I mean, it's not pure oil. Okay. Certainly does look like pure oil on the yeah. side of the bucket. But Craig brought up a good point. When you have a sink and you know you your drain is clogged from hair and all that crap. When you pull it out, it kind of looks like that. It definitely, we that's the odor we have. It's a zero zero right now. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing that that was zero zero. All right, well that was on the back side, so that was, you know, kind of uphill. Wow. Okay. I've never had contamination go into a dry well. Um, I've had it go into the leaching fields from a septic tank, but never a dry well. get a reading on that that is on the outside beginning at the low end of the dry well that's at the lowest part of that piece of shale going again Craig yeah. Hey, that's literally why I'm here. <laughs> I would think that this has to have a positive reading. Because this is definitely right where all that oil is collecting. You know, it's all running right to this area. Twenty-five, forty-seven, six point nine, seven point one. Oh, seven. I'm sorry. I never see that decimal. <laughs> I mean, that's clearly acceptable. I'm gonna say we we could be done here, which blows my mind because. So you can see how it's tapered. It's all funneled right to here. And that's the sample I just took.
And as crappy as that dry well looks, I don't want to disturb it if it doesn't need to be remediated. Okay, so you, you know you're never too old to learn or you can be on this job for 30 years and still see something new. Um, that stuff looks terrible. It looks like black motor oil. Um, there's nothing. There's no, uh, no hydrocarbons in that. So I'm just going to close that end up because we were kind of showing the stone. Looking at all those holes on that tank, and that it was a live tank, I would have sworn it was going to be over a hundred tons. So I'm just going to go down there now and get my samples. Going to get my four side walls. Uh, just. I'll take like a composite of the bottom, uh, but it's all, you know, it's all bedrock. Twist, twist. All you youngsters don't know what that is, but look it up. And then I'm going to get this, because I know a lot of that stuff is contaminated. So I'll, I'll blade it over, and I think I got about maybe 24 tons. So looks like it's going to come in at about 58 tons. Uh, I bid it 60. Four days, looks like we're right on the numbers. And that's that. My issue is now getting 60 tons in here. trees out of there. Do a little landscaping. touch this fence with that track I'll rip the whole thing down just do a little bit of hand work right there yes sir
try to clear up these edges here. Without damaging the fence. Certainly will look nicer. Here's one of those things, I don't know if you remember seeing the lady where I tried to fix her sidewalk. You know, I'm not paid to do it, but just seeing it drives me crazy. So this is the same thing. It takes a couple of seconds to do and clean up this whole fence line and it'll look great. See, that's that you never do you never ask the homeowner because then they'll just start telling you to redo the whole property no i have her her is the soft oh oh i got you hey right here just get that too get the big stuff on our side timber I mean, I could do it perfect, but. Enough is enough. Hey, so like right now, right now I don't even need this, this thing. And 40 is what I need to finish this. So, I mean, it looks like basically you're just going to come in dump and, right and, and dump. Right here? Huh? Yeah. If you go close to the fence, we're going to dump right here. Yeah. Can you expand if you go close to the fence? Yeah, yeah, I could get it done. I get her done. Yep.
on his stone till 1.30. If that hit the hose. It's gonna play a big role, but I think the homeowner wants us to put. We're gonna break up these trees and throw it in the bottom of the hole. No, no sense in waiting for H2M. I'm just gonna go ahead and. Start the backfill. We're done. So got a lot of work reinstalling that Roth and all that stuff, so. Okay, we are at the quarry. Let's see what kind of product. Oh, they've given us I could have rent a, a body over there. I would like that stuff. This always happens when you come to these quarries. There's never anybody around. You don't know the system. It's an easy half hour to 40 minutes just to get things figured out. But it's a mile and a half away, so I'm, I'm not gonna hump my stuff and beat up my equipment and drive an hour and 25, 30 minutes. So we'll just see what they say. One of those big rocks fall in this truck, it'll destroy it. So I, I said that to Craig. We're tight. We're tight in this truck. This one? I got room. Let me see. Look at me again. You're like animal Yeah, that's not. That's not good content. I'm telling you. you want to Let's save just it. do a YouTube video. Does he know I'm here? Feel bad for who? Why? Me. Yeah. I know. You got a terrible life. Thank you. With with it with a oh, horrible future once I'm dead. Why are you dying though? Soon, yeah. bro. You got 20 years. Easy. No. I'll I'll put money on that. You just gave me the hand signal. Well, he don't want to move at all, huh? He probably he's wondering why Sam's sitting on top of him. Yeah. <laughs> he can't see me. Yeah, hey, get ready. Listen to this. Watch the dents in the bottom of this truck, bro. I think that's a lot. 
I'm not using this truck anymore. We shouldn't have used it. Look. Watch the dents in the bottom of this. Should we even get out and look? Yeah, we got a carpet. Yeah, we're carpeting it. Oh my god. We just destroyed our $84,000 truck. Bad decisions, man. Ah, god. Sam, watch your head. All right. <sighs> Gonna be regretting this. Gonna be regretting this one, Sam. This is what we do when we're nervous. Yeah. You know what I do? I look for the nearest liquor store. Feels like there's eight tons in here. It's really not that much. Maybe the level without us. Boy, that that tractor trailer didn't make it. Which way? Crash landing right. right. And then the light. So we have asked H2M permission for us to bring in our own prefab pad and they've given us permission uh, because that pad's junk. And they agreed it was junk. Oh, no rebar. Look at that. No chicken wire, no rebar. No nothing. There you go, folks. There you have it. All it can be used for is fill. Ed, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Go, Mikey. Go ahead, dump it. Dump. Now we're gonna see the damage. I'm gonna be so disappointed. Hey, is that the only bowl he has? No. Okay. Ready? Michael. Look at the side of the rock. What's the damage? There's no damage. Yes! No damage. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. I don't know if that's going to work for tomorrow, but we'll see. We raised it a little bit. Maybe it'll set. I don't know. All right, folks. Day two. Starting to get sloppy and messy. 
We'll set this up to try to bring in 50 tons tomorrow. Uh, we'll load that out. That's it. Good morning, folks. Um, we are going to replace that pad with this brand new one. I don't know. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? I think so. I think so. Little little cleaning up of the car. Hey, you know what we need may need? Yeah, I'm not sure how the saddle goes. But we may need a grinder to grind that wire off. The saddle may go right over the I know that the sad the side the legs on the saddle go the other way. Uh, yeah, it works. You sure? We've done rock and stuff. Okay, but we have a grinder on in the trailer anyway, right? A cutter? We have many things. We have many things. Okay. Many hands. What are we looking for? This place Washers. This place needs some organization back here. Holy moly. It's like when we cleaned the shop, we pushed everything back here. That's the old pick up all the shit and pile of the shit back here in this area. We got a bunch of washers over here. Uh, where are, if you were a washer, where would you be? Come around this side, Cor, and use that chain to turn it. There you go. Ready? You see how wisdom helps tremendously? There you go, my son. Maybe some hay fell in the back. We were laughing before a lot fell in the back. Yeah, we threw it away. Well, I see no, hay right I need, there. I need a bag. I'm gonna get a garbage bag. Oh, to put it in there. Gotcha. We had a bunch of hay back there. That's it, folks. We're headed up there. Day three. One more day to go. Okay, guys. Day three. We got the truck here. DNA trucking. He's the best. Man, I've been using him probably over 10 years. We're gonna load this out and then we're gonna start back filling. I should have compacted that back area down though. Good steer problems. Man, it shouldn't be that, Craig, because I tighten those suckers. Go ahead. Perfect because I said send that. somebody that's only 22. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good morning, you're perfect because I said send somebody that wants 20 to 23. Can I put this up in there? was not easy. Anytime you can scrape the bottom there and get that layer of plastic right like that, that was perfect. That was perfect. Like that. Yeah, it's not worth it. I know, it's not worth it though. It's not worth it. Just come in here. I'm gonna get a couple of plates. I'm gonna flip it over so I can dig off the plates. Yeah. But I just think it'd be so much better if the Jeep was up by the mailbox so we could swing it better. But, I mean. <laughs> you, you can turn it. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put the two plates here though. Those two plates I'm gonna put here upside down. Get these mats out of here.
right there, right there. Right? Just dump it. Really? Dump it. Dump it. Dump it. Trying to gain inches, I just don't want to destroy it. It's good, it's going right over the root over there. About eight inches from his cheek in front. Yeah, eight inches is good. So just start running me stuff. Hey, try not to get cable. We'll have the cable folks complaining. That's it's a, it's a cable code. This is our first process. We'll see how this works for us. You know, you, you try to plan something out. And you just never know, but we'll see. the the powdery stuff right over to that hose next to it 
and then I'm gonna push it right up to it where it'll slide under it. That big rock right there, no good. There you go. Once this uh, the hydraulics get hot, it loses a lot of its strength doing this sweeping. Not a bad thing. Let let the machine cool down a little bit. There you go. And before we completely close it in, we're gonna we're gonna do a load of laundry. Not load. We're, we're gonna get it on uh, a rinse, just to make sure we know it's working. It's still working, even though I know I'm positive it is. But it's a lot easier to dig that up and find it. That's the biggest thing, you know, digging this stuff up, it's not a big deal, but if you don't know where it is, you just keep throwing buckets in the ground, you're just gonna destroy it. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know whether that quarry, I think we only loaded out maybe 44, 46 tons. I'll find out. But this was 40 tons right here going in. So, you know, they don't have a scale, they do it by bucket. and easy over by that hose start you know start slamming that put a little pressure on it you want to kind of do it a little more evenly than that but I'm just really worried about that line over there so I'm gonna let natural pressure work for that right now I'm not gonna start slamming it with the bucket here comes my next load even started like compacting that back end still need Sam and Corey though right what do you mean Sam's here alone and Corey's getting the piece yeah that ain't gonna fill it it's not filling it dude it he their um their numbers are off I'm not going by there we're not getting on a scale you remember oh uh, yeah I know we're not but are they telling you an, a tonnage oh okay because they're not full loads either they certainly aren't organic topsoil loads from the ganja men we'd be done already
Everybody was commenting on my electrical skills at UU, and we just took the switch off. White, green, and black lifts it up. Look at that, huh? And red and black <laughs> drops it. Now I'm gonna hear, oh my God, you're driving around with open bare wire. We put wire nuts over it. All right, we got 55 tons of crushed concrete in. We're just gonna start to work, work the ends here. Pretty wet. Gonna grab that pad, set it over here.
Are you trying to set the pad now? Another long day, man. Got to take the tank, the plastic, the mats. Everything's out of here. There's no water. I took a couple of a PID readings just to get an indication. That concrete, oh, what a mess it was trying to deal with it. You know, it was wet. I hope this all binds up. I feel like it will. We just overbuilt that pad. Oh, that platform actually I hope that that binds up tonight I don't know man doesn't look too bad I think this actually looks better than it did initially I don't know I can't remember but we're gonna come back here with about 20 tons of topsoil a lot of cleaning up reinstallation of the Roth uh, I took all my posts they'll go to the lab tomorrow and that's it no damage to the driveway. That's all AC water. Just a big mess. That's it, folks. We'll see you tomorrow, the last day. Like you added some topsoil? Okay, kids. I don't know. We'll run over there and see. Last day. Hey, what did we learn about this? Did he have to tell you that? They left that place looking like shit open hole with the tank half in it you know why they did that right because they didn't want to backfill you had the wheelbarrow to backfill so they came up with some excuse on why the void should be left open leave a liability there for their animal pet or their pet or a child to get caught down in there let the war the, the hole fill up with water so it can disperse the contamination to a larger plumage not an impressive pad that's already broken up into pieces and back in the void and most importantly that's how you take care of your customer really they have state farm they are they are the best insurance carrier to pick up and pay for this pollution kind of stuff and they've been with them more than long enough in order to get this coverage they got denied your customer got denied terrible so i walked over took it all on for free now in about 30 days i'll get a check for 42k so that's one of the many things we've learned today the other is bedrock and I just found out it's not twist twist it's twitch twitch we've learned that a lot of other stuff but it's early we've learned that I didn't bring them I bought new flags they have to go over top of this no bueno incorrect that is a flag violation how about you, Corey? You learn anything this week? I already beat that company up. Uh, Other than that. That we're better? Yeah, we are better, Corey. Nicely put. Nicely put. And I looked at their initial quote for the tank removal and install. We were $675 cheaper. Why didn't he see us? What is that? Tie down why why are we using ours i need those angle pieces no we don't we're gonna go buy something remember hey, you know, these kind of those smaller. angle pieces suck i don't these like them why buy a bottle of whiskey for that neighbor. oh that that um i don't i don't know if i want to we got to get tequila ask the fans what they think about that he's a, he's a laborer bro i ain't buying him tequila if, if he was the owner, what are we gonna get a row better than this? 
Seriously? Yeah. Come over to the pad and I'll show you. We are in high hurricane winds. Yeah. We're trying to keep the tank secured. Give me that. This is what Granby says to do right there. Raw. Raw, excuse me. Two screws and then hook it to that. Now, what I would do, I would drill a hole right through with an eye hook. Eye hook would come, the eye hook would come out at the bottom of the bolt and have a washer. What, what's going to be better than that? Certainly not that. That's just what I would do. But this is the piece manufactured, designed, uh, rated for the product. It's the same one where that they give you a key because it loosens up. What happens when it fails and we didn't use their product? That won't fail. I'm just saying. You know that won't fail. That wasn't my question. What do I do when what? Then that fails? Warranty wise, it does flip when we used our eye hook and not it, it their It won't fail. Piece. Ours won't fail. Okay. You know it won't. Ask him. What do we do? They have a four inch thick eye hook? Yeah, right. Of course they do. Hey, we just gotta drill a hole and get a flat washer on the bottom. That's killer, man. That's killer. I can drill bit. Yeah, we, we will buy all that at, at Ross and then we'll have it. That's killer. Yeah, there's a lot back here. And now you're saying to yourself, Dad, my God. How do you do it, man? How are you always right, Dad? Okay, folks, boys are about 15 minutes behind me. We are here day four. I'm very anxious to see how well this is binded up. I don't smell any oil. Very nice, nothing. Pretty good. This doesn't get any sun back here. Pretty good. I'm happy. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, that's such a relief for me. So we're gonna rake the edges. I've got, I'm gonna say a little over 20 tons of uh, topsoil. I was going to seed and hay everything, but I mean, this doesn't require anything. Seeds to, to you know, to... Is that them already? Wow. I think they may have been driving a little fast this time. Okay. All right, they're all here. I think Big Red's got to come in first. We'll put that into the back. So like this stuff doesn't even that's good soil we'll just rake that and throw seed i don't i don't need any hay that'll that'll come out nice very good
Looks pretty good. All right, he can come in now. He can come in, I'm gonna dig out of it. Gonna have to move that hay. He's on that route. It was outside this, right, Cor? Right there? Mm -hmm. 43, we'll look again. That's 42 and three quarters. Okay. Yeah, yep. The outside yep. 50, 51. 42 and three quarters minus 51. That's seven and a quarter. Half of seven and a quarter. Eight. 42, 42 and three quarters. So it'd be. I had it in my head, but. Eight. It's eight. Not seven. It's not seven. It's eight and a quarter. Eight and three quarters. 41 okay. and a quarter. Shush. 51. Yep. Minus 42 and, a quarter, and three quarters, right? Okay. Was it? Okay, we're gonna measure this now because it's gonna start over. We have, what do you got, Craig? 42 and a half, 42 and three quarters. Let's go 43 because we want an outside old hair. Do we? Yeah. Okay, 43 minus 51. Four inches off each end. In the center. So you got a pen? So we got one, two, three. 47. Go on the other. There. And then we got four inches here. Okay, now let's just measure that, which should be 43. Measure that. 43. Let's find our center. Over here, we got 30. 17 and a half. 35. So we got 17 and a half. That's where we drill. Right there. 17 and a half. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's where we drill. Beautiful drill. Setting it up. Setting the drill up. So you guys saw, um, and it was actually what um, oh, we got a Roth allows. It was that one little L bracket, and it was this big, and then you put two screws, and you put the hook through that. That's ridiculous. I could pop that out easy. Uh, this is what we do. We drill all the way through. We install that in the bottom. So if you're gonna flip this thing over, you're gonna have to lift the whole pad. So that's how we do it. Okay, so if you guys notice, they installed this with a two and a quarter, let's just go center, with a two inch offset. This is dead center. 
I can't move this now because this is screwed in. So it's gonna have to be two inches now forward, which is what I'll go ahead and do because I don't want it coming down at an angle. So that is now our new drill. We'll call that our center. But it's clearly not. What's the other one? It's in the back. These guys don't know what they're doing, man. So now this is offset in the back. an inch and a half that's unbelievable so this is gonna go back an inch and a half see what I'm saying folks all right hey so that's the front all right drill on Thank you, sir. Chris, did you see the other setup? Did you see how that was held onto that other pad? It was just sitting there. Or well, had a little L bracket with some screws. Yeah. Not today, Chris. What do you think? What do you think so far about Tank Masters? <laughs> Thumbs up. The other guys? Other guys. We passed them on the road today. We did. We passed. Who's the install? He was doing about 90 on the highway. Put the bottom washer and bolt on. They'll go all the way on each one so you know it's even. All right. Gotta let me know left or right. Right there. Grab a level. Nice. I'm good at that, man. Yeah, I thought that was kind of like a bad design because the weight it's of the absolutely. Hole, even though it's right angle. Exactly, and that's why if a lot of people don't even use the tie-down kits. And if this tank is empty and the guy's got a 400 gallon, that thing is way up here. Yeah. So his hose, that length of the hose with all the oil in, I've seen it tip over. It's just, uh, but it's a blown ethylene bladder, has no seams on it, mm -hmm. no metal. It's not going to rust from the yeah. inside out. You know, double wall. It's got a leak detector. Yep, you got the little pop up. Yeah, so it's got, it's got, it definitely has its pros. And it's got triple the warranty. And that's a, uh, that's a correct pad. Oh, yeah, the other one was <laughs> it was blue. It wasn't even cured right. Jeez.
I need more. Okay, good, right there. Don't move. Don't move. I need more. More. Mm. Okay. Hope that comes up. Yes. My arms race. You need your wrenches? Yeah. I grabbed them all. I have everything. You have the wrenches? Yep. Did you get this? What? Or was that, did I get this the other day? Uh, it's not me. Good. He didn't even do it. I... Oh, he didn't tighten it? No, I just gotta wrench it. Mine tight? Yours is good. He's going up here, right?
are transferring the usable fuel into his new reinstalled Ross centers level fasteners. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, folks. You had a rusted tank half in the ground. A Roth tank improperly installed. Zero coverage. Him and his wife were talking about refinancing their home. Then somebody walked over from Tank Masters. Said, hey, let me get involved. Covered. 100%. We finish up. I'm going to brag a little more on this one, though. We'll finish up. All right, last little bit. We're finishing up. I threw about two yards in this. It worked out perfect. Okay, we are finishing up. We did look at this. Look at this. Come on, man. I mean, this is the only area that gets sun, so Mikey's just going to put a little bit of hay right here. And that's it, folks. We're going to finish this up. It's not even 12 o'clock. First early day we've had. Mikey, you want to sign off? Like and subscribe. And that's another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental. You put me on the spot, people. Mikey Mann, Corey, Jammer, Craigie, and moi.